emotion. I could wrap my whole life up in 24 carats. All right, what is going on, family? I told myself, let me get up this morning, stop being lazy, get a vlog in for you guys. It's been like a week since I got up my last vlog, and I feel like when a video on my channel hits two weeks ago, that's just a reminder that my consistency is going to shit. So can't let that two week mark happen. Start out the morning, made some breakfast, cinnamon, eggos. I think this is two and a half egg whites and then one whole egg, and then a little bit of like half calorie syrup. No cap, these are some of the best waffles I've ever had in my life. And they're coming out of the freezer into the toaster. They're not homemade. And they're still some of the best waffles I've ever had. So you guys gotta check these out. These are super good waffles. All right, so while I'm eating this, I thought I would answer a question I've gotten kind of related to food like three times this month. This is gonna be kind of like a mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang. I don't really know how it's pronounced, but you guys know that little thing trending on YouTube. A couple of Instagram friends asked me this. My mom asked me this. Pretty much, what is intermittent fasting, and like, do I practice it? I guess the short answer would be no. But yes, I know that kind of sounds weird, but. I don't really consider myself doing keto if I only do keto two days a week. So most days in the week, I will fast, but I won't say it's like a true intermittent fasting. Pretty much what I'll do in mine is I'll protein fast all the way till about one o'clock. So I have like one protein shake when I wake up in the morning and then I have another protein shake probably about like 12 o'clock. And then once that like one o'clock or one thirty mark hits, I'll probably start getting that regular meals. So pretty much what that allows me to do is push all my calories later into the day and I get to eat bigger dinners, bigger lunches, because I'm not too crazy about breakfast some days. That's kind of like the short answer to the question. The long answer to the question, like what is it? I really don't feel comfortable going super into detail about it. I know there's a lot of YouTube videos on it. The way that I do it, some people might not really consider that a true intermittent fasting. I know there's like a lot of other windows that you could do on like periods of eating and not eating. I feel like it'll come really handy when my macros get super low and I'll make up for having low calories when not eating breakfast and just only having protein shakes in the morning. So that's the way I do it. Like I said, I'm not gonna go too into detail on the way other people do it because I don't know the way other people do it. So if you wanna watch a video on that, I'm pretty sure you could just type in intermittent fasting on YouTube and get like a lot of information on that. I'm definitely not the science guy to give you guys the proper way to do it, but the way I do it seems to work, so. Feeling extra productive. I'm up, I'm moving. I've eaten breakfast. I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit the gym right now. I'm gonna go hit some legs. I haven't run you guys through my program since, the, I guess the first time that I ran you guys through my program because the last video I did the how to calculate macros video. I'm about to take you guys through this leg day one of block one. So I don't wanna get too far in this program without keeping you guys up to date. So today we got some heavy squats, I'm pretty sure. After that, I think we have light deadlifts and then a bunch of accessory work. Problem is, I don't have anyone to film me today. I don't have any of the boys really going to the gym this early, but I do want to get the gym out of the way because I want to start editing this video really early and kind of have it ready for tomorrow to go up. And you would think that I got a bunch of media friends who are willing to film me, but that's just not the way it really works with people's schedules. Everybody is either at school, work, or they got something else better to do than to film my workout. So I'm about to set up this little handy cam tripod thing right now. I try to get as many clips as I can for you guys. and uh, we'll We'll see how busy it is and see how that works out. But I'm gonna go savage mode, try to get all the clips I can for this workout. I wanna make sure I'm filling you guys in, bringing you along with me through running this program. All right, so just in case we have any new people watching this video that has not watched my The Perfect Program video, I am running Jeff's Intermediate to Advanced Push Pull Legs program for the next couple of weeks. And today we're gonna to be going over week four, day one, block one, and this is gonna be the first leg workout of the block. So we started out the workout with a back squat, four by five with 80%. And the cue on this is to sit back and down, drive your knees out laterally. So we did a three to four minute rest time on this. I'll admit these were actually feeling pretty, pretty heavy today over the four weeks this percentage has increased by i think like two five percent intervals and yeah now we're at 80 percent and this felt like pretty heavy today the next thing we moved on to was some deadlifts two by eight 70 percent and uh the cue on this is to brace your lats chest tall hips high pull the slack out of the bar prior to moving the weight off the ground. This program was actually my introduction to deadlifts. So my deadlift is probably a little weaker than people would think, uh, but I'm working on it. It's going up steady, starting to get a little more comfortable with my hand positioning, with just my overall form and technique. And it's starting to nicely fit in my workout routines. Next thing we moved on to was some sitting calf raises, three by 10 to 12 with an RPE of eight, two to three minute rest times. So what actually was here originally was a barbell hip thrust for the exact sets and reps, but I actually wanted to just switch it out for some more calf sets because I'm focusing more on calves than I am glutes and hamstrings. So 
If you are following the program and on a specific workout, then that's the reason why I'm not doing barbell hip thrusts. Next thing we did was a dumbbell walking lunge, two sets with 20 on each leg, RPE nine. These are so killer, one to two minute rest time. The cue on this is to take medium strides, minimize the amount you push off of your rear leg. Next thing we threw in was some leg extension, seated leg curl supersets, three by 15, RPE nine. And the cue is to focus on squeezing your quads to move the weight. And as for the leg curl, it's focused on squeezing your hamstrings to move the weight. And the last thing we did was a standing calf raise, three sets by 10 reps, RPE seven. And the cue on this is to press all the way up with your toes, stretch your calves at the bottom and don't bounce. This was one of the only exercises that I didn't get on film today because of the placement of this machine in the gym. It's just in the middle of everything. And the gym was starting to get super busy towards the end of my workout. But that is going to conclude week four block one's leg workout. So workout is complete. And honestly, um, it kind of turned to shit towards the end of the workout. Halfway through, my phone died. I'm just scouting the boys in the gym, trying to find a charger. And then I eventually found a charger. And it was one of those like cheap chargers that don't really charge your phone. So halfway through listening to music, thinking my phone's charging, all the music just cut out and I'm like, all right, it's not charging, but we still got the workout in. I only did about 50 calories worth of cardio for my warm up. So I'm thinking finishing out the rest of the cardio for the day, doing some basketball tonight at our um, local YMCA. So I think that's at like 9.30 or something like that. I'll probably bring you guys with me there. Hoop a little bit, go drop 30 might drop 40 kind of like a late drop in session so hopefully a bunch of people show up we can actually get like a pickup game in because i'm down to hoop tonight so i might have to hit someone up to come with me too about to go home right now i need to get this post-workout meal luckily i've been meal prepping so i'm gonna show you guys what i've been meal prepping because it's been saving me like a lot of time easy meal preps here but I got a couple of these. I think I only have three left, actually. I just ate one. But what I have been meal prepping for the last few weeks, the last like two weeks, I want to say I started this, but I've been making like set meals for like lunch and dinner. I don't know. I just feel like I spend half of my day cooking chicken or just cooking meals in general because I'm just trying to get a lot of protein in and stuff like that. So I made sure to make like some super protein dense meals and I always have them ready. And honestly, man, that's been helping me out a lot, saving me a lot of time continue to work throughout the day, pop them in the microwave, keep working, saving me a lot of time. But what we have is, if I can remember the numbers, I think it's three fluid ounces of beans. That's like eight grams of protein and then 5.5 ounces of chicken. I think that may be like 30 grams of protein. And then under that, we have this kind of mixed veggies with broccoli, carrots, and peas. And that's like 85 grams of mixed veggies. So overall, I say it's a pretty balanced meal with like vitamins and fiber and protein. It actually fills me up quite a bit drink it with a bunch of water or like a diet pepsi and stuff like that and i'll fill it up for a couple hours and that's kind of all i'm looking for these days when i'm eating it's getting my macros in and making sure i'm full so i'm not eating constantly but yeah i've been eating these like twice a day and then obviously you guys saw my breakfast this morning which is like super light so a couple things i need to do on my to-do list as far as like business wise it's tax season and boy is that stuff stressing me out I'm trying to get all that stuff done i know i'm like really late in the year but since i own my own company i can get my taxes done i think the cutoff is all the way into like June or something like that. We're gonna get it done today. I'm actually gonna start editing this video that you guys are watching right now. Cause like I said, I wanna try and get this up tomorrow and hopefully that happens. I mean, usually when I say that it doesn't happen, but it's pretty early in the day right now. So maybe that'll happen. So I'm gonna check in with you guys a little later when I finally get ready to go play some basketball. So no one actually decided to show up for this late night basketball session. Except like this one other guy who was just kind of in his own world, but that was probably for the best, man. I went in and I was just shooting just bricks everywhere, pure bricks. I was missing like 10 in a row. I hit a couple shots, but man, like, I don't know what it was tonight. My arms just felt like jello. So I'm glad no one showed up because I was not dropping 30 tonight. End of the night. So I'm going to end the video off right here. If you guys are new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like before you leave, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Yeah, then I get back on the road.